For more on the guilty verdicts, we bring in our CBS 13 political analyst, Gary Dietrich, who has had a lot to say on this because there's so much we can talk about. <laughs> First question they want me to ask you has to do with what this does to his re-election bid. I think I can answer that in one word. Money. <laughs> well, the, 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 mean, how the website supposedly crashed today for the Trump right. folks because so many people wanted to get in on this. Okay, really, truly, honestly, folks, you have to believe the Trump people at least potentially thought this was going to be an outcome. Mm -hmm. They have the messaging all ready to go. We've heard it for a long time. They believe this was politically motivated. They're going to keep that uh, storyline going, guys. They're going to keep that messaging going. And there's a lot of people that truly believe that. Yeah. You know, you can look at a lot of circumstances, the jury pool, the DA, all kinds of things, and then an argument can be made. But I think it's full speed ahead for both sides. Certainly you're going to hear convicted felon, convicted felon, convicted felon from the Democrats for the next five months. Real quick, he just came down that he's going to speak tomorrow morning outside Trump Towers at 8 o'clock yeah, time. So, not a surprise. Yeah. You know, and, and as everybody's brought up this question again and again, the presumptive Republican presidential nominee, but if he is reelected, the Constitution, just to reiterate, does not say anything about a convicted felon having mm -hmm. an impact right. on your ability to serve, right? right? And from the legal side of it, yeah, there, there's that piece of it, which is true. But from the legal side of it, remember, there is an appeals process in the United States. And the Trump people absolutely 110% are going to be filing an appeal. That appeals process, guys, wouldn't even play out until after the election. Right. I mean, most people are saying the appeals trial would happen in 2025. So for a whole variety of reasons, this has a long way to go. And we'd like to bring things to the state level. So bring in back sure. to the, the California politics in terms of people being fired up. You heard the politicians that are fired up, but the voters are going to be fired up. Absolutely. About this, no matter what side. How does this trickle down to some down ballot issues, certainly impacting crime and the efforts to reform Prop 47? Oh, yeah, all of those, Tony. I, I think the, ballot, the statewide ballot measures. I mean, if you increase conservative turnout in California, let's just say 10%. That could affect a ballot measure like Prop, the Prop 47 reform measure. It could also, by the way, have really important impacts on House races in California. And those are going to be pivotal for who controls the House going forward. You can, I guarantee you, every one of those Republican candidates, the first question they're going to be asked in a debate, what do you think about supporting the president? So, Tony, this is going to have a lot of implications for a lot of elected office holders for the next five months. And that Biden-Trump debate is going to be in late June now. So it's less than a month away. Yeah, just a few weeks. And the sentencing hearing currently scheduled for Donald Trump, four days before the GOP convention kicks off in Milwaukee. Ready wow. or not, here we come. Here we, here <laughs> we go. All right. Thank you, Gary.